Hi guys, welcome back to the Coffee Break Podcast. I am your host, Emily Long. Hello and welcome. How are we doing? My dog's collar is shaking in the background. (laughs) Of course, he wants to be the nosiest when I'm recording. But hello, welcome back to another week of the Coffee Break Podcast. I'm so excited to be back. Last week was a week, y'all. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm on this like bi-weekly schedule and not on purpose. So let me apologize once again. Last week, I worked 55 hours at my job Monday through Friday and it was crazy. And then Saturday, I don't, I couldn't even remember what happened on Saturday and Sunday. Like, what did I even do? I honestly just slept and I don't think I did anything, but Yeah, it was a long week, but here we are. We're back. We're rejuvenated. We're on a normal work schedule, and I'm feeling a little bit more alive. So, today's coffee of the day is homemade cold brew. I got this new one from my local grocery store. It's Cafe Ole Donut Shop. So, I tried it out. It's okay. I I think I need to, like, brew it longer in the fridge, but I do like it. It's definitely very smooth. I just want it a little bit stronger. And then I have the Nitro Creamer from Ready Whip. Y'all, it's really good. So not sponsored, but definitely check out Ready Whip's like barista series because they're so good. And that leads us into like our first segment of the day, which is our June favorites. Since this episode is obviously airing on July 1st, I figured why not do a monthly favorites on the pod? So... I've had a lot of things that have really been like my solid faves of the month, but this barista series is straight fire. So I would say my number one fave is the sweet cream and it's literally like whipped cream, but it's like this sweet like coffee cream, like latte foam. I I don't even explain it. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting it on my stories, but y'all, I highly recommend you like whip it on top of your coffee the calories are so small I think for a third cup of whipped cream which is way more than you think it's 40 calories and I don't even think I put that much on mine I like give it just enough of a little swirl but it's so good I like it best on hot coffee but I do drink it on my cold coffee too for the cold coffee I've been using the nitro cream um nitro like cold brew thing I don't even know how to explain it it's so good y'all it's so good they're a little pricey I think they're right under four dollars um at my grocery store but like I said they are so freaking worth it I have not gone to Dunkin Donuts or Starbucks in a while because of this freaking stuff like I would get up last week when I did be at work super early I would literally get up and make my cold brew at home and use this barista series and take it to go. And I was not even missing like my Starbs or my, y'all know, my Dunkin' Donuts obsession right now. Was not missing it because I was just making it at home and it was so nice. And right now, Max wants to squeak his squeaky toy. Oh my gosh. He's being a little butthole today. Anyways, so that was the first of the faves. Something else I've been absolutely loving is my new foundation. So I'm a big stick foundation gal, but I haven't found one that I like genuinely love since the Lancome one. And the Lancome one is just so stupid expensive. So I've also been using like the Benefit Hello Happy foundation. I do really like that one. I've just been like experimenting. I've always loved buying foundations, but I have found the freaking one. If you like stick foundations or you've been wanting to try one, I cannot recommend this more. It is the Milk Foundation Stick. It's called something else like extra, but it's the Milk one. It's the only one they got. I got it at Sephora. It comes in this beautiful, sleek, white tube. It is amazing. Amazing. And I like it because it's light to medium coverage. So it's perfect for the everyday wear, but I definitely get more medium coverage out of it. I feel like stick foundations could be like thick and cakey and just not like the best feeling on your skin or they can make you feel greasy. This one is stunning. Y'all, if you didn't know, now you know I work in a gym, like a gymnastics cheerleading gym. I sweat all the time at work. This foundation stick is so good. Oh my gosh. Like I can't rave it enough. So please go get your hands on it. Try it out. Thank me later because I am obsessed with it so 
my first makeup fave. My second makeup fave is an OG and that is the Roller Lash Mascara. Oh my gosh, by Benefit. I've been using it for a bajillion years, but I've been out of it and I've been using the Bad Gal Bang because I got like this like duo thing last time I bought mascara. But I finally went and bought a new tube of it and it just solidifies that that is the mascara for me. It is so freaking bomb. I love it so much. So those are the makeup faves of the month. Okay, for some kitchen cooking foodie faves, y'all, the Trader Joe's Chickenless Vegan Seasoning Salt. I know, that was a huge handful. If you cook a lot, regardless if you're vegan or not, but it is vegan if you are, it is a chicken seasoning salt. Imagine the chicken ramen noodles like seasoning packet. That is literally what this is in a shaker. Like you buy it and it's like $2 and It is so bomb. It can be salty fast, so you do have to be careful, but it's so stupid good. Oh my gosh. I've been wanting to try to make tofu chicken nuggets with it because I feel like they taste like chicken nuggets. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But I've used it in like chicken noodle soup, seasoning my chicken. I literally, I've tried it on so many things and it's so good. Oh my gosh. I made vegan quesadillas like black bean and something like bell peppers or something a lot too long ago and I used the chicken seasoning salt oh my gosh it was so good so like I like totally highly recommend it so if you're a Trader Joe's junkie like myself definitely definitely get it another Trader Joe's favorite of mine is the cookie butter which I feel like everyone has probably had or heard of so if you haven't definitely go try it. I can only eat so much without feeling completely miserable, but it's so good. It's um like a peanut butter or like almond butter, but it's cookie butter and it's just a good little treat. Dip your apples in it and you can thank me later because it's so good. Another thing you can religiously find in our kitchen is oat milk and we've been loving the Oatly oat milk. I like the barista edition a little bit more, but since Trey uses it for his cereal, we've been getting just the low fat or like the blue. It's either the white or the blue one. You can find them at Target, H-E-B. But the Oatly oat milk, we've been la la loving. So I use it for my coffee. Trey uses it for cereal. We use it for like all sorts of things if we're making like mac and cheese. I don't know. That's like our milk substitute. Really, really like it. I actually order it on Amazon sometimes, especially when I want the barista edition because you can't really get it at the store or at least not at my grocery store. So yeah, love it, love it, love it. Highly recommend and it's super easy to just order on Amazon. And obviously, it's just a great way to talk about some Amazon favorites. Who doesn't love some solid Amazon favorites? I love Amazon and I feel like Amazon is like taking over the world with quarantine and everything going on because no one wants to go shopping hence why I bought oat milk on Amazon like who would buy their groceries on Amazon I mean I guess that's a thing now and they like deliver groceries you can do like the little Whole Foods Amazon delivery service which I haven't tried but I should but anyways some Amazon favorites I got these really cool magnetic like curtain holders they like loop around your curtain and they magnet together and they're so cute and they're like beaded they're just really cute I'll put a picture on the coffee break podcast Instagram so you can see so freaking cute highly recommend and they were like super cheap and like had two-day shipping so yes highly recommend my other monthly favorite is my phone case which I don't know if you count as a monthly favorite because I got a new iPhone in June, the 11 Pro, because I had the excess and I just really wanted to, you know, upgrade. I needed some more storage. It was time. I was eligible. All that fun stuff. So I got a new phone, which means I needed a new phone case. Well, if you know me or if you've seen on my Instagram from my selfies and stuff, I use this yellow phone case. It's bright yellow and I always get compliments on it. It's just literally this bright yellow case. It's so cute. And I had it, I had it two times on my excess because I had it one time and I just kept messing with it and it started peeling weird. So I ordered a second one. It was fine. But then I got a new phone and I literally ordered the exact same phone case on Amazon because I love it so much. So I've bought this case three freaking times on Amazon. It's like $11. 
And it is the best freaking phone case. So highly recommend. I'll put that on this, the post as well. What I'll do actually, the post that relates to this episode, I'll put a swipe through of some screenshots of some of the items that we have talked about because naturally that would, I think, help you guys. Would it not? I don't know. Perhaps. We shall see. For some skincare favorites, I have a few that we're going to touch on. The first one is the Glossier Milk Jelly Cleanser. I got this at the Glossier pop-up in Austin, and I literally just finished it this month, and I'm ready to buy it again. I just need to go online and order it because I don't know where to go buy Glossier like in town. If you know, like let me know, but I'm pretty sure Sephora and Ulta don't carry them, or do they? I don't know. But it's really bomb because y'all know free skincare, the exfoliating face wash is like my ride or die, but I can't exfoliate like every single day. So I try to like switch like the milk jelly cleanser and the exfoliator like every other day. So that's what I've been doing and I love the combination of the two. So highly recommend. Actually, if you want any free skincare products, you can use my code. I'll put it down in the description box below. Save some coins. It's a good time. I love free skincare, but I don't want to rant about it too much because I feel like I talk about free all the time on my Instagram and stuff. So yeah, but I've been loving that cleanser so freaking much. I've also got the free nighttime serum and I've been loving that. Like I said, I'm not trying to rant about free, but I just use all of their products. But I've been using a different micellar water. It's the Yes brand, if you know what I'm talking about. The Yes micellar waters. I literally got it at Marshall's. I went in there to just look around. I went on this like home decor kick and I was trying to redo some places in my apartment, which really didn't end up happening. But I went to go like look around with my friend Kendall and I found this micellar water and it was like $2.99. And I was like, I really need a micellar water. And I was just going to get the Garnier one. And so I was like, ah, I'll try this one. Oh, it is a bomb. It's so bomb that I will purchase it again. Hopefully I'll find it at Marshall's again or TJ Maxx, you know. But highly, highly recommend that micellar water. I'll put another picture in the little swipe through. I don't even know how many swipe throughs you can have, but I'll like – put some of the key items in that swipe through for you guys. Another thing that I've been loving is Trey and I started our own herb garden. I did a little YouTube video like kind of showing it, not like in depth, but just showing you what we got. We went to, okay, two different kits we bought. We bought little kits. The first one I got is at Target in the dollar section and you can still find it because I saw it there yesterday and they have two different ones, but the one we got was like basil, oregano, and parsley. And then they have one that's like cherry tomatoes maybe. I think it's like tomatoes, basil, and something else. And it's little starter kits. And it comes in this cute little like silver tin like thing. I can't even explain it. But we got that. And then we went to Home Depot and got another little herb starter kit because we wanted to have like all of the herbs. So we have like cilantro, rosemary, mint leaves for my Moscow mules. <laughs> um... And anyways, we have our own little herb garden now and it's been like the coolest thing ever. We've been making at home pizza all the time. I can't remember the last time we ordered pizza because we make our own now and it's so freaking delicious. Maybe I'll do a YouTube video on it because I got a couple questions in my DMs when I was posting about it on my Instagram, like what supplies we use. So freaking good. I I can't. And we've been putting like fresh basil on top, like from our herb garden. It is just so cool. We made crock pot chicken and we put our fresh rosemary on it. Trey made some homemade salsa and he pulled cilantro from our herb garden. And it's just like the coolest thing. Like it's been so fun. We like water our plants and have our little herbs. And it's just so cool. It's been really, really fun. I've definitely become into a plant mom. I'm not the best plant mom. Trey's definitely the better plant parent of the two. But (laughs) it's really fun. I actually got a yucca plant or is it a yucca tree? I don't know what it's considered, but I have a yucca now in my living room and she's so cute. She really adds that pop of greenery in the living room. She's right by the window, but enough where she like just gets enough sun that she needs, but she's super cute. I've posted her a ton on my Instagram because I love her. Um, I assume she's a girl because um, she's beautiful. I don't know, but been loving the plant life, the plant mom life. It's it's been nice. It's been a good time. So 
And of course, another monthly favorite of mine is Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout's great. I've been using this platform obviously for a couple weeks now, um, actually a couple months now, and I freaking love it. Buzzsprout's great to start your own podcast. Personally, it has made it so easy to get shared on all the platforms, Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, and much, much more. They also help with your affiliate marketing and it's helping you grow in the podcast world. So if you want to start your own podcast, you can follow the link down in the show notes. You know, help support the Coffee Prate pod and you get a $20 Amazon gift card for signing up for a paid plan. I seriously can't believe that June has like come and went. It's gone. We're in July. I feel like yesterday was March and everything was like just getting shut down. It's like actually mind-blowing to me. I feel like April literally never happened. For sure April wasn't a thing. And then May was kind of here for a minute. Like we kind of kikied with her. And then June, all I remember is like my birthday. Cool. My birthday, we moved on. And now we're in July. Like it's crazy. And what's even crazier is the whole like corona thing. I hope you're all safe and healthy and well. But we're kind of going backwards now with like this big spike here in Austin, Texas. It's super bad here. And so we've basically now re-shut down the bars. The restaurants have gone back to 25%. And it's just... It's getting crazy again, and I I hope a lockdown's not coming, but, like, internally, my heart is beating so fast. I don't know. So that's what's going on here, um, and I just feel like Amazon and grocery delivery is about to be a thing of my life again. <laughs> I don't want to go out. I don't want to do anything. It's 4th of July weekend. I don't even want to go near a lake, near a park. Well, actually, they've closed all the parks here, so I won't be going near any parks. Um, but I don't know for me, I'm just trying to do my part and be a part of the solution, not the problem and just go to work, wear my mask, sanitize, keep my distance and do what I can to do my part. It's just crazy. So, um, I'm curious how it is in other places in the world. I keep up with the news, but you know, the news only shares so much and I feel like it's been sharing a lot of the negative stuff lately. And so, I want to bring some positivity into the world and keep, you know, promoting all of the good things on my platforms. Wow, can't speak today. So, yeah, let me know in that post maybe what you're buying from the June favorites or maybe what your June favorites are or how you're doing. How's life going um, where you are because I'm a V curious. I only know how Austin, Texas is going and I'm just itching for a vacation that probably will not happen until 2021 if I am lucky. So, yes. Speaking of being healthy, what about your physical health? I, st- I'm i pretty sure I strained it really bad, my lower left side of my back on Monday. And oh my gosh, like I've been sleeping in like weird positions so I can like actually be comfortable. I like stand kind of funny. I lean to the right. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I did, but actually I kind of know what I did. I covered a stunt class at work on Monday and then literally by like, Tuesday morning I was in excruciating pain and yeah I I'm just I'm struggling so bad in the physical health department and stretching and I'm missing my yoga classes my heated yoga classes and those used to help me so much with recovery and just like staying flexible and not injured and so that is something I'm really missing from the normal world is my yoga classes and that's crazy because if you know me I would never miss that at all it was like a chore for me like every Wednesday at noon I knew I had to go to hot yoga with Francesca because she was gonna heal my body and heal my soul and I I liked going that sounded like a kind of harsh I did enjoy going but getting myself to go was the hard part y'all know what I mean and so I'm really missing that. I'm also really missing just being able to go see my grandparents because of the recent spike. I haven't really, actually, I haven't seen any of my grandparents except one this whole quarantine, like since March. I've talked to them on the phone and luckily I text a couple of them, the ones that text. And so that's been nice, but I have not been able to see them and it's just weird like it just is so weird and I I got to see one of my grandparents a few weekends ago we went to this dog park and like 
you know, took our puppies, socially distanced, did our own things with our puppies there and got to kind of catch up and that was nice. But it's just, you take things for granted when you can't do them as regularly or as frequently as you would want to. And it just makes me miss the normalcy. I've also really been missing letting my skin breathe, (laughs) as crazy as that sounds. Like wearing a mask for six to eight hours at work and which last week I was wearing it for like 10 to 12 hour week day, what? 10 to 12 hour days at work is my like chin and like jawline is breaking out so bad. So last week I knew I'd wear my mask a lot so I literally didn't wear makeup. I just threw mascara on so I looked alive. And then this week on Monday I wore makeup just because I was missing it. You know, sometimes you just want to play with your makeup And then Tuesday I didn't. And so I just feel like that is just making my face break out so much. I'm having to do way more like face mask and like just being on top of my skincare, which I normally haven't been. So this is like kind of helping me. But like I've noticed that different types of mask make me break out, whether it's like the paper ones, cloth ones, like more industrial ones. So Let me know what's been working for you. I think the cloth ones work best for me if I wash them regularly. So that's what I'm trying to do and just take care of my skin. My skin is really hating me right now. I've also been missing the normalcy of getting my nails done, which I know you can. I've been doing my nails at home. You all know that. If you follow me on TikTok, that's the only reason I followers on TikTok is because of my nail videos, which I haven't done in a while. But I got this whole dip kit. Like I have like literally a whole dip kit salon. I do my friend's nails at times. So I've been doing that and that's been really fun. So for my birthday, I was like, okay, I'm going to finally like get the courage to go to the nail salon. And then it was not what I had expected. They did a great job. I went to my normal place, Kim's Nails. Hey girl, I love y'all. Lisa always hooking me up. But I was like in a plexiglass box. I had to wear my mask while I was dying and then when I got my pedicure same thing plexi plexi glass box with my feet sticking out and it was just weird like it was not enjoyable I wanted to like conversate with my girl Lisa but it was so hot I didn't want to like keep talking with all the hot breath coming into my mask then they weren't serving you know wine and like beverages because you know corona and I'm like this is not what I want when I come get my birthday nails done like I want my glass of pinot while I get my nails done and so Anyways, that I've missed that normalcy. That is the most stupid bougie thing that I've been missing, but I've been missing it. So I think, well, Friday I'm going to go get my nails done one more time because I, guys, I'm telling you when I feel a lockdown coming, I feel it coming, but I could be totally wrong. I don't know. But so I'm going to go get them done Friday because these need a fill. And then I think after that fill, I'm going to try to do them on my own again because it's been a little while and used to be so relaxing and like I just loved doing it so I think I'm gonna do that I also got like a nail drill from Amazon and so it was really helping me do them on my own so I think I'll be better at them now you know and then when you watch people do it you get tips on like how you can do them better is that even or is that just me I don't know I'm looking at my nails right now they're so grown out they I cannot wait I got two more days until my appointment but anywho's So I miss that like normalcy of life. I just everything right now and everyone keeps saying this is our new normal. Like I don't believe that. I believe that this is a weird time for us and this might be the normal for now. But I am hoping and praying by 2021 we are back to normal. You know I just I feel for the people that like have weddings planned and like all the graduation things that have been changing. I don't gosh life's weird. I'm just thinking out loud with you guys at this point. You know, like, how are we all feeling? Like, really take a second and like ask yourself, like, what doesn't feel normal? What do you miss about life before March? What are things that you've missed out on in life because of Corona? You know, like, that's what like, I just sit here and I start thinking and my mind starts running and I'm like, my goodness, life is weird. And being a cheerleading coach, it's a weird time when parents ask me like, well, what if this happens? What if this competition gets canceled? Are we going to be able to watch our kids at competition? And I'm just like, I don't know. And I feel like that is the answer to everything right now is I don't know. We live in such an uncertain time right now that it's hard to give definite answers. So 
For instance, like I said, coach cheerleading. I had to change a competition schedule because one of the competitions has been TBA, TBA, TBA. And it's because it's so close to Austin and it's in November of this year that I think they're just really waiting it out to see if they can even have it. Um, And so we ended up just pulling that competition schedule, or not schedule, but that competition um, because the unknown. And so, oh God, it's just so weird right now. And so most of our competitions aren't until the new year. And so I'm hoping the ones that are at the end of the year in like December are like normal and our fans in the stands maybe people just wear masks I don't know it's so weird so maybe there's like intermissions where they sanitize like how does that even work that's what I want to start thinking like what are the competition companies and like varsity and like everyone thinking like it's just weird I don't know like I said I'm just thinking out loud at this point but you know what else I think about is like how fashion has changed and how like loungewear is so in because all we're doing is chilling at home. And I feel like every clothing company is like pushing like tie-dye sweatpants and like cropped hoodies and all of the lounge things. Like why would we even buy going out clothes? We're not going out. I literally went to Target and bought new sandals because I really needed some. But like when am I going to wear them? Y'all, like when? I'm not. That's the thing. I'm not. I live in sweatpants and extra large tees. Like, so think of it that way. I'm curious when everything is quote unquote back to normal. If like the fashion industry, like how has it changed in like style or like just people doing their nails and eyebrows and everything from home or doing their own lash extensions. Like just think of it that way. I just think of how much the pandemic has changed our day-to-day lives. Speaking of fashion, I want to take a second to talk about the Glamour Box. So the Glamour Jewelry Box is a subscription service that is $29.95 a month and you get three beautiful pieces of jewelry. I got my first subscription this June and I got the June Summer Box. I got the gold collection. It was stunning. I got a set of earrings, a bracelet, and a necklace. And y'all, the necklace I am obsessed with. I posted all over my Instagram about it. It's so cute. And if you want to try the Glamour Jewelry Box, You can use my code EMILY at your checkout for your first month and you get an extra piece of jewelry. One free. You're going to get four pieces of jewelry for your first month at Glamour Box. My first box is worth $80. $80. And you're only going to pay $29.95. By this time of the episode, I always feel like I've just been rambling for so long long and it's been like maybe 30 minutes at this point I don't even know but thank you guys so much if you make it to the end and you listen to me ramble about just the most bizarre things every single week I appreciate you more than you even know make sure you're following the coffee break podcast on Instagram it is at the coffee break dot podcast and my personal IG which is at Emily Lung I post all the time over there. I'm getting better at the coffee break one, but I like to communicate with you guys about what you like, who's listening, who loved the episode, maybe who hated it. I don't know. If you made it this far, I hope it's because you like it and my fast talking and my life rambling. Also, check me out at TikTok, at Emily Lung, basically on all my social platforms, my YouTube channel, and all of the above. So thank you guys. Remember, I will see you same time next. I won't see you. Why? I've been really good about that. But... All right, we'll be back next Wednesday. Toodles.